What's good, everybody? What's happening? Um, Malcolm here. So, um, I know some of you that used to watch Still Diverted are probably very surprised, like, whoa, an upload. What is this? I thought this channel was dead. Not really, but kind of. Um, oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is because um, I was on the Wendy show today. And many people have questions about, like, how it happened, like, what went down, like, what was the whole process like. And uh, this is the easiest way to kind of, like, put it all together. So I'm just going to make this video so hopefully everybody's not clear, but so that you all can understand how this whole process went down. Shout out to the read. Break up with him. Uh, broke up with him. We. Uh, oh, this is backwards. Okay, wait. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, shout out to the read. Uh, we stand progression. But what I was going to say is, is that I also am just shooting this on my bed with my webcam and not with like my actual real camera. So I'm very interested to see how this will look in the end, but eh, it is what it is. So anyway, so let me walk you through the process, right? So I was on the Wendy show today. They're doing uh, this thing for May Sweeps, <clears throat> excuse me, and they're doing uh, Wendy's 10K Friday giveaway. So uh, fans of the show, they're looking for like Wendy's biggest fan. You come on, you answer 10 questions about the show for the week, and then if you get all 10 questions right, you get $10,000. So um, I was picked to be the first one up. I sent my video in about two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, I got a response from somebody at the show named Patrick. Shout out to Patrick. Um, and he was like, hey, we love your video, you know. Um, and pretty much just like phone interviewed me. So they asked me like, you know, how long have you been watching? How many times have you been to the show? 25. Um, since six weeks sneak peek. But all of these questions about the show, how much I love Wendy, what I do for a living, um, all of these different things. So if you haven't seen the video, it's in the Wendy show video. So I'll put that as a link through to the bottom. But um I got picked and um, I did the show. So I definitely had to write down some notes because I knew I was going to forget things because I'm forgetful. Um, yeah, so we get to the show. They send a car to my house, which I was kind of not expecting because I was like, oh, girl, I've been to Wendy like a million times. And I'd be right on that C train to 26th Street. <laughs> but they sent a car to my house, which was super cool. Um, and we get to the show. And then we get to the show. We get into the green room. Um, my name is actually on the door, which I was like the lord like oh they really they treating the kid nice out here so we get to the green room it's me and my best friend asha there's like food and wendy's on and you know all of these different things so <clears throat> um oh, speaking of the devil that's asha texting me right now patrick tells me like all right we're gonna have like a, a rehearsal for the show before the show and then you know you'll come back to your green room you'll get dressed you'll do the actual show right so we do rehearsal and um, it's on the floor of like, you know, um, if you watch the after show, it's very similar, like, similar to how Wendy does rehearsal. Like you see her sit in the Hot Topics chair and then Tristan cuts out because whatever happens in production rehearsal stays in production rehearsal. So with that said, what happens in production rehearsal stays in production rehearsal. But um, it was super fun. Pretty much you just run through how the segment's going to go. So, um, you know. They just asked me a couple questions and that was how it worked. Not questions that were on the show, but like questions like, you know, what color is the sky? You know, how, what block is Times Square on? Like, you know, things of that nature, like just to give me an idea of like how long the segment's going to be, how long um, I'll have to answer the question, so on and so forth. So, um... The one cool thing about rehearsal was is that you, if you watched the after show, you got to see everybody that like works with the show. So like Suzanne was there, Brendan was there, their son Jack was there, who was like, he's like a little producer. It's so crazy. Like that boy is probably not even older than 10 years old, but he was just like, go out there, be great, have a great time. And I'm like, dog, you're like seven, <laughs> but <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can see everybody that works like with the show and you just pretty much just like run through the segment. So that was rehearsal. Um, I go back upstairs to my green room. I get changed. I get dressed. And uh, now it's time to, like, do the show. So I, surprisingly, <coughs> was not that nervous. Like, I was more nervous before I got to the studio. And then once I got in the green room, I was like, all right, it is what it is. Like, we're just going to go out there and have fun. So I get dressed. I go into hair and makeup. Um, obviously, hair. Not a whole lot going on there, so that was an easy job for them. And then they just kind of touched me up, like, um, just like with some pressed powder so I don't look super shiny on TV because I am a black that is usually very shiny with oily skin. So, so now it's time to start the show. So we go downstairs and we're standing, or I'm standing in front of the elevator where she stands. If you've ever been to the show, it's the elevator that takes you up to the studio. But um, it's like a big freight elevator. It has Wendy on the front. She usually stands in front of it for the after show and takes her pictures there. So... I'm standing there, I'm talking to Patrick, I'm talking to um, Brendan, I'm talking to Jack, and I'm just like, 
all right, Joni mic'd me up. Like, it was a real, like, if you're a fan of the after show, like, it is, like, crazy to, like, experience it in real life. But we, um, I go out there, you know, I walk out, you know, and there's, like, a minute or two before the segment actually, before we actually go back live on the air. So Wendy's standing there. She's dancing. The producers are briefing her. I'm standing on, like, the other side behind the camera dancing. Nobody's briefing me, but I don't need to be briefed because I'm not the host of an Ashley Syndicated talk show. <laughs> but they roll the package, and then pretty much what you see on TV is exactly how it happened. Um, Wendy asked me the 10 questions. I won $7,000. It was a great time had by all. Um, the number one question that I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, that people are asking is, what was Wendy like? What was Wendy like? How was Wendy? How was Wendy in person? What was Wendy like? Did she treat you nice? Wendy was great. Um, I do have to say, as a long time Wendy fan, um, we all know what's currently going on in Wendy's life, but I do have to say that I think she is about to step into like a new regime. Like she's, this is a new chapter for her. Like her energy is so different. Her person, like everything was just much more like, she seemed free. She seemed free. She seemed lighter. You could tell like whatever, well, we know what whatever was, but you could tell, but you could tell whatever was looming previously is like, you know, it was, it's been set free. Like the girl is not worried about that stuff anymore. So um, it was great. You know, I had a great time. It was a lot of fun. We talked a lot in between the commercial break because I'm a talker. She's a talker. But, you know, we just, we, we just, we just, you know, you know, you know. Um, I could run you through chapter and verse, word by word, um, every citation of what we talked about. But it's not even worth it. You know, like, it's a moment we had, you know, it's a moment we had. It's a moment that I'll cherish, for, cherish forever. So... Um, I think that was everything that I wanted to hit on and, oh, one more thing. So I looked at the comments because it's, it's 340 here in New York on Friday. So the show aired 10 a.m. this morning. It'll be on again in like 20 minutes at four o'clock. But I see a lot of people in the comments, mainly good, mainly good. Shout out to, you know, the Wendy watches, you know, I know it goes down to the comments. No one is safe, not even Wendy, but I, um, I see a lot of people asking like, Oh, like, is he a plant? Was this staged? How did he know all of these answers? Y'all, when I tell you, like, this was... So, like, Patrick briefed me, the producer. He briefed me, like, to an extent. So, pretty much what he said to me was, watch Hot Topics, watch um, the interviews, watch Ask Wendy, watch Trendy at Wendy, watch the games, watch literally everything that happens from... And here's Wendy, too. I love you for watching. Could have been in this segment thing. So, I was literally watching and paying attention to every single thing. But, um... These are my notes for Monday. So this is like Hot Topics, Inside Scoop, Trendy at Wendy. Um, as you can see, Hot Topics right at the top. These are my notes for Tuesday and so on and so on and so on and so on. So oh, that was probably crazy in the microphone. Sorry about that. But those are my notes for all the days. So like when people ask, like, you know, was it planned? Was it staged? It's like, no, like I really was taking my notes on this show because I was really trying to win those 10 G's. I only got seven, but I was trying to win that 10. Um, but yeah, so all in all, it was a really great experience. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it will live on forever in infamy on YouTube. And that's pretty cool. So like, um, when I have kids, you know, my kids can watch it or whatever, or something like that. But Wendy was just so sweet, so inviting, just just a good time girl. Like we, I had a really good time there. So, and <laughs> well, two things. So one, there was this guy in the, mm, never mind, I won't even say that. But <laughs> there was somebody in the comments that was like, wow, his girlfriend must be so proud. And I was like, oh, girl, what? Like, no, not at all, not even close. But I appreciate you being a nice, sweet woman. But in any event, um. That was it. That was my time at the show. So, um, yeah, hopefully you will enjoy it. It's funny. I actually did, like, a longer video that they had to cut down for the show because um, the show was only... It's, it's only a one-hour show, people. But um, there was a longer video that I did that I'll probably put at the end of this if this isn't too long. But, yes, that was my experience at the Wendy Show. So thanks so much for everybody that has said nice things, people I know, people I don't know, people that, you know, just happy to see boy from Brooklyn win a couple G's. So that's that. Um, it feels like we're real weird to plug social now, but 
You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I don't really know. Whatever. All right, that's it. I'm going to go um, watch the show again. Or I taped it. So I'm going to watch it like live for the first time at 4 o'clock. And we'll do that. Or I'll do that. All right, I'm going to drink my drink and I'm going to go. So y'all be good. Um, all in all, thanks to everybody at Wendy. Thanks to the whole entire staff. Thanks to... Just every, every being in the universe. Oh, let me tell you one more thing. Real quick, 30 seconds. Let me tell you about God's favor, right? So I'm not going to get too churchy on here right now, but God's favor is so real because I um, applied to be an intern for Wendy's show back in like 2000 and actually 2016 because I got the rejection email the day 45 was put, uh, was elected. And I was like, damn, this was already not a shitty day enough. Now I have to deal with like this man being in office and I didn't get the internship I wanted. Like, I was pressed that day. But the way things work is if I would have gotten that internship, I would have never had this chance to be on the show because even though I wouldn't have been an employee, I would have been technically, like, an employee of the show. So, like, it would have been impossible to pick me to do this. So I say all that to say, let God work in your life, you know? Like, this is not going to be a whole big sermon right now, but... If I would have did that, I would not have had a chance to do this. And I mean, interning is great, but like this was a much, well, I might say much, but this is an experience that I feel like is far beyond whatever my internship would have been at that show. So say all that to say, when things don't go in your favor, that does not mean, that does not mean that they are not what you want it to be. Oh, whatever. I tried to make that real like good in a sentence, but basically it's not in your time, it's God's time. So when things are supposed to happen, they are supposed to happen. And with that said, I'm going to watch myself on Wendy. Y'all have a blessed, blessed everything. All right, bye y'all. <laughs>